So hello everyone. What did I want to do today was kind of talk about how, you know, you may be encountering people that you may feel that are trying to destroy your life. I know that sounds really serious, but there are people such as narcissists, sociopaths, negative Nancy's that really just suck the life out of you. And toxic people can make you feel ashamed, confused, and even worthless. But if you start to recognize their patterns, their behaviors, you can put a stop to the tricks that are using to manipulate you. So let's go over some ways that people, um, toxic people do to kind of make you feel less than number one, gaslighting. A toxic person may use a phrase like you're too sensitive. Have you ever heard that? You're too sensitive. You know, and another thing is it didn't happen that way. And it's like, it makes you doubt yourself and really question what you deserve. Another way is elaboration. So a toxic person may give huge responses to appear smarter than, more skilled than you. What they might like is relevancy or bounce around from point to point. You know, another thing that they might do is kind of tonal messaging. And what they say is perfectly acceptable in terms of words or phrasings, but how they say those words or phrasings communicate something harmful. I like to think of that as a backhanded compliment. You know, downsiding. Every time you try to be positive or talk about the good that happens to you, a toxic person ruins your parade, pointing out, yeah, but consideration responding, are you sure? I mean, how many times have you been trying to maybe shift out of, you know, a negative mindset or really try to, you know, shift into an attitude of gratitude. And it's like, well, your life really is this bad. And you're like, come on now. They can also do identity shaming. A toxic person will constantly come up with something negative to say about what you love or do so that eventually you'll feel ashamed and how it makes you feel. Another way is generalizing. Rather than taking the time to get the facts and acknowledge all the subtleties that can make an argument more complex, toxic individuals make a blank, blanket statement that defy rationalization, typically in an accusatory or judgmental way. They ne treat never and always as some of their favorite ways. Words, I have to tell you, when I get into conversations with people and it's like, well, you always do this. Like that just frustrates me so much because it, I could be making a conscious decision to change something or change a way that I'm acting or behaving, but yet I get pigeonholed when I hear you always do this because that's not even true. 180 degree deflection. You know, rather than taking responsibility or face difficult conversations, a person, a toxic person may try to turn the focus, what you did and try to get the focus on a different real issue. Another way is pressure valving. A toxic person offers to handle certain truths, certain tasks or jobs as to relieve your stress. And then they keep the information about those tasks or jobs from you. So you're no longer able to approach them independently, or they make jabs about your competence saying that you need to do their work for them. If somebody is contaminating your life with some of these behaviors, don't stand for the abuse. Don't stand for the stress that can really hurt your brain, really overwhelm your emotional body. Using statements such as I feel it doesn't come across accusatory, but it does come across in a way that you can say, I feel like you were doing this to me. I feel like, you know, if you continue to talk to me this way, there are going to be some consequences to your action. And the most powerful thing you can say is no. I know it's a hard word for a lot of people to say, but just say no enough, set your boundaries and stay strong to them and really acknowledge when you know that somebody is really trying to destroy your life. And I know that sounds like I said in the beginning, that can sound very traumatizing, but there is power in saying no. And there's power in setting up your boundaries and there's power in really kind of calling out, Hey, you, do you realize that you're doing this? You know, I know people don't want to be confrontational, but sometimes you have to be a little bit. I feel that and then express the situation. And then hopefully you can kind of come to some sort of resolution and you have a better relationship with that person.